Okay, I'm here in, uh, at a soccer spot, but basically I'm on a basketball pitch. Very simple, very cool on the inside. Now, I place the ball in line with my direction, right? I'm not going to show you how to kick the ball or anything. I just want to show you some concepts. You could just find a basketball court anywhere there are some circles or semicircles and so forth. But the basis for this theory is I'm trying to show you if you, if you turn this way, for example, notice those lines on the ground, notice the ball direction. So if you want to practice, like let's say you want the ball to curve in this direction that's going that way, you try to kick the ball over here, right? And, and on a slight axis off this angle and you follow through but the ball will serve this way. Now let's say you want to keep the ball more into the, this, this line that goes straight on out there and turn that way. So furthermore, what you do, you kick the ball like this, you try to kick the ball straight, but on the axis then you start to turn it with your foot into that direction. It's a simple little tip. I hope it works for you. I've used it many times to score many goals and you've seen Roberta Carlos use a simple technique like this, even Beckham. Some people call it swerve, some people call it um, just splicing the ball. Well, however, there are other axes to kick it. Now, let's say we turn this way now, and you want to follow in the opposite direction and into that same curve, same theory that applies. You kick the ball on this axis, try to get it at least right off your, your foot, and send it across, or you just kick it straight, until it reached the point that you wanted to turn and you follow through. But it's important to follow through with the curve. Uh, I hope I trust that you enjoy this little tip. Get yourself a soccer ball and by all means, go on out there and practice. Next time I will actually show you other tips on how to control and how to do many tips and tricks that Soccer Number 10 teaches. Take care. My name is Dennis Lee. Bye.